Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back to another episode of Columbian Space Initiative in Supreme Robot Ultimate and in previous episode we got the synthetic rocket production going up and we did skip up a little bit ahead and looks like the Swedish partisans have managed to capture some lands here including Malmo and Lund uh, so that might be causing some pro problems with the, uh, or for the Russians not to mention the Germans and the French made a ceasefire for the time being, so the Germans are now focusing all their efforts on beating down the Russians. Now they managed to push a little bit further east, but I think they might still be having a lot of problems with the lack of supplies and all that sort of stuff, so I don't... Ooh, actually they're pretty far over there, but that's probably going to be flipping over... Yeah, well, for the most part. So yeah, oh right, they have the capital over there in Petrograd, not in Moscow. Right. Because it's Russia and not... Uh... Okay, so Sweden has their capital in there. Are they still... They are still war with Russia. Okay. You know what? No, there's not much over there. I'm just gonna donate them a... little bit of... Uh military goods, just for the heck of it. If they can uh, free up their country, that's fine by me. Not to mention the fact that there's German fleets down here. They might be doing a lot of damage on the um, Russian garrisons there. Just one moment, quickly check one message. Right, uh, sorry about that. Okay, so the, the Swedes are actually regaining some of the land here. Now, the Russians will probably send in a lot of troops down there, but they are not funding their police force, clearly. Not sufficiently, anyway. 120 million on the German population there. We got over 8 million, though, now. But that's good. Uh, and I did buy the... Uh, vaccines, I think, or was it? It was something that we bought from the United States. That No, not the multiple vaccines, but the other one. Um, hold on. Sorry, I'm just uh, coordinating something else in the background here, so... Um, Right. So, did they... Oh, right, one thing that I should make note is that our unemployment has been growing quite steadily now, so... Oh, and we have been supporting the French. We built a small bit of a railway down there, not going to have a massive effect on anything, I reckon, but still, we are building that. And we got 18,000 tons of industrial goods. We could improve our consumer goods production, although we have built that one up now, so we'll probably be building up more over there. If we were to, hmm, say you have some industrial goods, we'd probably increase the industrial goods production, quite frankly. There's still not a lot in the global market, but I'm going to move you guys over there. Start gathering up a bit more of the industrial goods. In fact, I'm going to stop selling any for the time being. Right, so you are wanting to buy some consumer goods? Sure. You're offering twice the pr market price for them. I'll take it. Making a decent bit of cash. Right, so there's a multiple vaccines. The modern musical instrument would increase the cultural rating up a little bit without extra cost, which would make the population happier. Uh, there's also some military stuff that we sh probably should start getting at some point anyway. Improved partial source. Ooh, actually, that's not a bad one. 160 million for that. Let's see, so the supplies over there are actually, how are we doing in terms of metal? Still got plenty of production. We do need to expand the metal production at some point. We do have the mines already built up, all the old mines ready to be turned on if need be. And unemployment 4%, 
Okay, so inflation is actually not particularly bad anymore. But I think we might actually be, yeah, we're starting to get some negatives from the approval rating, or to the approval rating, because of the high unemployment. Now, another thing that I should note is, oh, actually, we got a pretty good production of uh, agriculture for the time being. That's not too bad, so I'm going to lower the sales to 98%, just so that we can build up a little bit of stockpile there, if need be. Uh, timber, we're still actually producing a tiny bit more than we are consuming. That might be partially because of the higher unemployment. So there's less uh, money moving around. Uh, the electricity price has gone up a little bit. Has the United States started exporting yet? No. Okay, they have uh, too high production costs still. Two, another 200 million. How much do we have the goods now? 23,000, 24,000. Still going to need quite a bit to expand our industrial goods production. Because frankly, this is something that we do need to keep up uh, expanding. Mostly for the fact that... Oh, yeah. The relations with the French are certainly improving. Ah, uh, it's... Hmm. Well, I'd like to buy more techs, actually, in the meanwhile. Uh, I suppose I could buy something like the... Actually, probably image broadcasting is a bit too expensive. Multiple vaccines would be too expensive right now. Electron microscope is probably a little bit too expensive. Engine design improvements we could afford. FM radio, maybe? Not that. Not fission. That's... <laughs> Four and a half billion X-ray. Oh, actually, that wouldn't be bad. Sure, that's going to take us one more step closer to getting the. Oh, and you are wanting to buy more consumer goods. Okay, actually, how is that? Oh, yeah, it's about two to one price. So Venezuela is uh, spending a lot of money on us, which is fine by me. Actually, I can sell them some research there to get even more money out of them. Not to mention it improves their birth rate and all that, so they'll have more people that want to buy our consumer goods. Oh, you don't actually want that. Um, not valuable enough for you, I guess. Okay, you're willing to pay 10 million for that. What about Peru? Quantum physics, 36 million, sure. Accumulating a lot of money is always nice. Right, so how much... 28,000 tons of uh, industrial goods. I suppose we could potentially buy something from the United States once more. Um, in transportation, that is submarine warfare. There would be... we we'll get the improved main guns. I have a feeling that's a tech that we can sell to quite a few nations. Not to UK, of course. How's Norway? Ooh. Actually got a few things. I wonder, could I trade... Not directly. What would you like? Four? Oh no, I'm not paying 400 million for that. Okay, so how much are you willing to pay for these? 18? Oh, Christ, that's basically nothing. Still paying 12 million for the sulfur. Okay, I'll take it. And the sweet house? Yeah, they managed to get all of that for the time being, although the Germans still control all of their Z-zones there, basically. But yeah, I suppose if they can manage to take out a little bit more land, I'm not opposed to that. Although I'm still kind of trying to support the Russians against the Germans, but... Oh well. We should be getting the land force improvements in about one and a half months. 33,000 now. Uh, it's just a little bit longer and we should be able to build the factory down here. And that should affect the unemployment a little bit, but at this point we just need to expand our goods production, or especially the industrial goods production, enough so that we can keep up expanding our industry at the rate that it needs to expand right now, because we have a pretty good situation in terms of population. That is certain. Actually, how much? Oh, right, yeah, there's actually over 100,000 difference between births and deaths now, and 171,000 in immigration. So yeah, that's a pretty decent increase of population per year. We still want more consumer goods. How much do we have in our stockpile? It's slowly going down, actually. I mean, sure enough, we're making a lot of money. So I'm not complaining. It's just something that we need to keep in mind. Right, well, let's start building that one. It's going to be done relatively quickly. And after that, we'll need to save up some more points to build even more. Actually, I wonder, in terms of uh, production, 
Um, okay, we are number eight on the total production in the industrial goods. So not great. What about in consumer goods? Oh, we're now number eight. Okay. Oh, some people are not... Oh, they might be running out of uh, rubber or something like that every now and then. They're jumping up and down a little bit there, but we are probably in the top 10 nonetheless. In terms of military goods, we're probably not even close to the top 10. Uh, we're not that far off, but yeah, we're not in top 10. Like, you can see 8 at here. So if you run... So probably somewhere like 12 or something like that. Rough estimate. Okay. Less than 3 weeks for the land force improvements. The garrison level goes up by 1. So that's going to be handy. Uh, did it unlock... It does unlock a military production, which we do need to do. We can't buy that. Salt and bar suspension, but that is something... Right, and does unlock quite a few unit types. Motorized engineers, mainly. But that wouldn't be too bad. Right, so how far do we... Okay, 20 more... So that's 7 more days and we'll have the industrial goods factory. And let's have a look. So we've got 530 tons of production right now. That's probably going to be jumping up to... 570? Somewhere around there. Or 580. Well, we'll see about that. Okay, now we have that completed. We've got 6,000 tons of industrial goods in the bank. That's not too bad. Still want more consumer goods? Alright then. Actually, I wonder, does Argentina have anything or want any of my techs? I think they do, and they got a lot of money. 46 million. Okay, not quite as good price as I hoped for, but it's better than nothing. Actually, one thing that I could do... Oh, there we are, land force improvements. Are there any there? Are the antibiotics? How about I start improving the relations with you as well? And the total funding is not going to be increasing too much. So it's going to be fairly slow increasing the relations with them, but that's alright. I think we're going to afford that. Right, so how is our unemployment right now? 3.8%. It's a bit more manageable. And supply level over here is 80%. I suppose technically we could improve the supply ratings around here, it's just it's going to require several buildings to actually get it uh, to the levels that we need it at. Or, well no, I don't think, well it might improve a tiny bit. Because that is 100% there. This is probably a bit, well no, actually no. 100% over there, okay. So it, yeah, it is spreading fairly well down this way. I'm just wondering if we were to connect this over there, would it help or not? It might help a tiny bit, but I don't reckon it's going to be quite worth the effort. Right, so we've got 12,000 tons of industrial goods. Let me build a industrial complex down there. It's fairly cheap, it's going to be done very quickly. And then we can start building more uh, petroleum production over there. It's going to be very well supplied. I mean, we're not re really having a shortage of petroleum production right now, but we are producing less than what we used to. We're only getting, well, it's still almost a million from the sales, but still, it could be better. The price has actually jumped up a little bit there. Oh, and the electricity price has dropped once more. All right then. Yeah, the taxes are still the steady 30%. Domestic approval rating has gone up again a tiny bit, probably because the unemployment went down. And you want to buy more consumer goods. Okay, buy for one month at a time. Stockpile has kept going down though. We're currently saving about 10% of that extra production per day, but it's not enough to actually keep 
increasing the stockpile. It is enough to slow down the diminishing of the stockpile a little bit, but that's about it. Right, so how much? We've still got a decent bit of uh, goods there. So what I think I will do is I will build a rail down here and down there. We can move you to do some construction there. I just want to get the railway up to the port there so the Venezuelan troops can get back to home if they want to. Because I'm slightly uneasy having them over there on the opposite end of my country compared to where they live. On the other hand, they are technically protecting me, so I suppose it's alright. Right, we now got the improved machining tools. We're starting to power grid. I think I do want to get the power grid research, but I should be able to get some other techs right now. I suppose I'll get the mobile steel barges because that can turn out to be handy at some point. Not right now though, but in due time I suppose. We need more techs that can unlock uh, more things for us actually. Right, uh, we got a decent bit of money. Uh, United States. Let's get the FM radio, or well, electron microscope wouldn't be bad either. Although I'm not actually entirely sure what would unlock more of those texts that we can't buy. Does that unlock anything? Nope. Does improve the cultural rating. Broadcasting further multiplier. That wouldn't be too expensive actually. No, that doesn't lead to any... I need to find some things that... I mean, these are technically both still long-term techs. It's the multiple vaccines, it's just increases the cost and... Okay, so that's not necessarily something that we need to buy right now. Does the FM radio unlock? Uh, yes, technically. Although we need some other stuff in there first. Engine design improvements... Doesn't unlock anything that we have to research. Personally. It's probably somewhere... Some in the warfare section. Still want more consumer goods, alright then. So, improved marine propulsion. That would be cheap tech actually, so we could take that. Semi automatic rifles perhaps. Right, when the old gun. Okay, so there's. Oh, okay, so that would be something that we would have to buy, but yeah, we don't have that. So there's really not a lot of things that we can buy that gives us another research to do while we're waiting for more money. There are some that will eventually unlock them. Oh, actually, industrial gas turbine engines, that is something that we do need because we need the launch phys physics to get to the missile concepts and rockets and eventually get to the rocketry to, you know, get to space and all that. Right, so United States, uh, what can we buy from you? I'm gonna buy the industrial gas turbine engine, that was the one that is gonna unlock that. Uh, we don't quite have the money yet, if we wait for a day or two we should have that. Yeah, there we go. How much do we have industrial goods in the meanwhile? 13,000, we built the railway all the way now, so I'm going to move you back, well, not all the way, but a fairly far away. Move you back down there. Eventually we'll expand this down here, we might even connect this to the railway. And then from here we might be connecting down there, and from here we can connect it down that way. There's a lot of railway that, ooh, I didn't realize we had a railway down here. Okay, well, we will probably want to connect that to the main railway at some point, but not in a hurry in terms of that. Not in a hurry. And I did say that I wanted to build a bridge down here as well. But again, not a priority. Ooh. Okay, so our rubber production is almost meeting up with the demand right now. So that's something that we do need to keep in mind. We've got 16,000 tons of industrial goods, so not enough to expand our productions. I'll probably increase the industrial goods production first. The unemployment is again at 4%. Okay. Right. 
oh wow, the electricity production is certainly lagging a fair bit there. So being 100,000 for the electrical power right now, you still want more consumer goods? Yep. Still paying almost double what you are asking for. Or what the things are worth, so I'm okay with that. Now, do you have... you've got a decent bit of money there. How about I try selling you some... Oh, 20 million out of that. Not great, in all fairness. It is better than nothing. Peru is having a... Oh, actually. What would be useful for you? That might be. Speaking of uh, nuclear stuff. So we are now closing on... Uh, is that 37% more or less? We've still got quite a few things to get in here before we... Oh, so that's technically completed. Although I'd argue that it's not. Alright, once we get the commercial plastics we can get this. Well, we've got another 170 million. Do we have any other research that we could buy that would actually lead to... So we got the launch physics now, but that's still not going to be easy to get. Okay, I think what we may need to do is start getting some of the semi-automatic rifles and through that get some of the ground unit bonuses up. And we can probably start selling those, so let's have a look. Uh, semi-automatic rifle, you want 188 million for that, that's fine by me. And now let's see, Norway, you might want... Actually, no, you don't have the required stuff for that. We'll give you the antibiotics nonetheless. Increasing the birth rate all around the world does mean that there's going to be more people that want our goods. Or that can move to our country, so I'm, it's actually not the worst thing to do. Sure enough, you won't be getting a lot of uh, profit for the nations that you don't have good relations with. We are improving with Argentina now, very slowly, so that is actually improving the prices that we are getting there. It's midgen, but it's better than nothing. Does Mexico want anything from us? They might. I'm going to start improving relations with you as well. I'll increase the diplomatic funding to 600,000 now per day. If we can get Mexicans to like us more, we can sell more of our techs there because there are quite a few things that we can sell to them. I want 42 million for that. I suppose I can take that. You still want more consumer goods? Okay, let's have a look at the supply that we have. So we've got 13,000 tons. Okay, we're going to run out of that stockpile eventually. So I'm going to slow down the export of our consumer goods to 80% of the excess. To slow it down a little bit. And France seems to be liking us. Right now, and so does Great Britain as well as the United States. Uh, how much do we have industrial goods now? 28,000, so almost enough to build another industrial goods factory. Let's have a quick look. Still have plenty of uh, metal production and coal production. And that, uh, okay, so we don't really need to increase any productions other than maybe timber and electricity. Then I suppose if we want to, we could increase the military goods production, but that requires much bigger investment in industrial goods. So I think we just are better off increasing this production to be full over there. And then we can maybe get another industrial goods factory over there. Not industrial, uh, military goods factory over there. Ooh, Ethiopia wants our military goods, or not military, industrial goods. Sure, lump sum. 40 million out of that, I'll take it. Right, so I believe we have enough money to buy another tech from, say... Did we get the light machine gun? We could. I'll do that. Uh, Canada, do you have anything? Nope, you don't want anything from us. Uh, Mexico doesn't like us enough to be necessarily worth it. What about... Uh, that's not Argentina, that is. Light machine guns. 66 million, I'll take that. Uh, what about who else might be willing to buy? Spain doesn't have or want anything from us. Portugal doesn't want anything. Does Denmark like us? They do like us a little bit. Do you have enough money? You probably do have enough money to buy that at least. Sweden doesn't have a lot of money. Oh, they've got two million. They managed to hold on to the lands at least, not really gain anything. 
unfortunately. Let's have a look. What about China? China likes us. They want antibiotics. You've got a lot of money, so you can... Well, okay, you're affording to pay 44 million over there. And not quite as good as I hoped for, but... Also, the Russians like us. What about... Australians don't like us. How much are you willing to pay for that? 46 million. I'll take that. Still present nothing. And Chile? Oh, someone's offering... Oh, it's probably Venezuela. Yep. So, another 200 million Chile. Would you like, say, weapon manufacturing advancements? Nope. I mean, you would, but... I'd have to pay you to take it, so I'm not exactly excited about that. Okay, support activities continue, but we seem to be out of time for this episode, so if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, also check out the links down below in the description, but other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.